Hello, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of PlayStation Underground. I'm your host, Brett, and I'm joined by Marco Rizzo, Marketing Manager for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Hello, everybody. It's a great pleasure to be here today. Hi, and I'm also joined by Tim. Hello, Tim. Hey there. Hi. And uh, today we're looking at uh, new footage for uh, the upcoming DLC for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, uh, the DLC Bardock Alone Against Fate. So, Marco, tell us about what we're going to see today. Yeah, so today we're going to have this new footage that will show us a little bit of exploration of Planet Vegeta, which is one of the locations that players can explore into the DLC, but also to have a look at a subquest that will show us a typical uh, slice of life from the Planet Vegeta, where the Saiyans come from, that we don't really get to experience uh, neither in the main game, and we don't get to see a lot into the into the original uh, anime. Yeah, it's been really exciting to see uh, all the DLC additions over the last couple of years. I finished Kakarot a couple of years ago. Um, really fun story, great way to experience the story of Dragon Ball, and of course the DLC just expands on that story. And here with with the Bardock timeline, we get to see a bit of what happened before uh, a lot of the main events that, that a lot of fans are familiar with. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, I completely agree, especially because uh, Kakarot has, the main game has the special emphasis to reproduce faithfully all the famous scenes from the anime, right? Mm -hmm. So it's really going to be uh, an experience that the core fans will really appreciate, I feel. Great. Let's get into some new footage. Let's go. All right. So we're going to jump into a side quest here. And as with DBZ Kakarot, the main game, it does recount the main story and the, a lot of the key moments and we don't want to get into spoilers and where the story with Bardock goes and involving Frieza and everything but we do want to show you a little bit of a sample gameplay of one of the, the subquests. Yeah, exactly. So the background for this uh, subquest is as we're meeting this character called Spinny um, that essentially is trying to attract the attention of Fasha, which is one of the members of the team that works with Bardock. Um, and essentially, Spinny is concerned that since he might not be strong enough to attract the attention of Fasha, so he's asking Bardock to fight him, to either train him or, um, or just make him, him stronger. Uh, so you can tell uh, this is connected to something that I that I said before that it kind of shows this light of life that you don't see a lot. Yeah, and, and this is interesting to me because I would say if my DBZ knowledge was like uh, subscribed to power level, it's probably more like negative nine thousand. But um, <laughs> this kind of like insight is cool to to see the world. Yeah, indeed. I think that, li like I said before, uh, some parts of the DLC reproduce the story as it's originally written in the anime, right? And some other, like these ones, have been specifically created for the game to just give this sense of better immersion for the player, where you can decide to go through the main quest as if to relive the TV special, uh, but also to just experience these kind of side episodes uh, that you would not otherwise uh, experience. Yeah, and I... It's reminding me now because it's been it's been a minute since I played through Kakarot, but uh, yeah, I, I loved the combat in this game, and yeah, having having any excuse to dive back into the battles in this, uh, even for like moments like this, this like you said, the slice of life things to to just get in a game that looks like I'm playing an anime, all the sound effects that you re recognize, uh, so many cool like stacking abilities that you get, and even remembering like pounding people into the ground, following up. Uh, and like closing the distance between them like it was super fun so uh, it's so much fun to watch and play yeah I, I completely agree and you can also get to do these very typical attacks that we see right now where this is the consecutive energy blaster like one mm -hmm. of the signature things or the signature attack that happens in Dragon Ball and the game really allows you to do them in a very let's say intuitive way um, and I really agree with everything like all the sound effects it really makes you feel like you are inside the anime and you're super faithful to what's going on so if I'm reading this correctly is Speeny going to ask Bardock to <laughs> just get get another fight and push him even harder yeah that's correct in true Saiyan spirit with the idea to get uh, to get stronger with that so Speeny has a clear clear objective here <laughs> And I know I'm sure Bardock does have more pressing things to get to at some point. Uh, but that's that again, that was the fun of Kakarot uh, as a game was to just live in that universe a bit longer and do some of the you know, we've said it a few times, but the, the mundane slice of life things for these characters that can shatter mountains and uh, launch people into orbit. It's just fun to 
my cat stuck in the tree kind of stuff. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I do get that, especially because you really get to interact with, with a lot of characters that are just outside of the of the ordinary of what is Dragon Ball. It's difficult to think about ordinary when you talk about Dragon Ball, right? For the reasons that you just said. Um, and what I also like a lot about Kakarot is that it gives you this sort of peaceful environment. It's not always about uh, fighting the new bad guy, but you can also just take your time to explore and even collect ingredients to, to eat and level up your stats in a permanent way so that you... Uh, you can basically are you're more prepared for your next fight, uh, which is something that you do you do not see into the normal uh, let's say episodes of the anime, but it does happen or would happen. Yeah, yeah, I do remember flying around a lot because just exploring, grabbing grabbing the orbs, grabbing ingredients, and just enjoying. I don't know, just the there's just a, a pleasantness of just flying around. Uh, peacefully the, the exact opposite of what we're watching now but uh yeah <laughs> uh, but yeah it you know it's got it offers both because there was just a pleasure of flying around uh and the architecture the art style of the whole series it's just fun to be in that world yeah c- completely agree especially now that uh soon we will have a, a, a ps5 upgrade for this game i think all this level of uh, graphic detail are going to make the experience even better for sure yeah arrives in um january i believe right yeah that will be the 13th of january yeah, and there he goes. And there we go. Bardock shows that he's still the Apex Fighter. And uh, here on the left, you see that you got some reward, which are orbs that allow you to basically be spent <laughs> for leveling up your skill. And here Spinny gets what he wanted, which is <laughs> being pummeled on the edge of oblivion, to quote him. <laughs> uh, and we will, and a Fasha indeed comes back as his main, uh, his main objective on why he's going through so much pain. Love first sight. Yeah, it's a cool story. Uh, uh, Bardock's whole tale—it's really fun. So uh, seeing it brought, seeing it get the like DBZ Kakarot treatment uh, is, is really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Especially because indeed the uh, the there is a lot of emphasis into this game for uh, replicating the 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 famous scene, right? And I really I really think that this DLC gets the gets the job done in that sense. Are we on our way to find uh, to learn about Fasha's side of the story? Then? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. And and here while we're fighting, where we're flying over the Frieza Force Base, which is one of the locations that you can experience in this DLC alone, uh, you see in the top right corner uh, all these blue icons are actually other sub quests that you can take. So um, this is just one of the many that were added to add this kind of uh, alternative routes that the players can take to to experience uh, the Dragon Ball world. All right, let's see what she's got to say. Yeah, we will. Uh, we will. We will soon know. And the dear Bardock is just going to, to, to tell us how was the experience of the, <laughs> from his side of the, from his side of the the situation. So I beat this guy up. Seems cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it is rare to see so many Saiyans just sitting around chatting. <laughs> yeah, just indeed. No, I really like this this angle because even though if you think that the very very first villain of of the main game, so not the DLCs, is, is the brother of Goku, which is another say, and right. people get very scared and very how do you say? Um, they're really astonished by the fact that there is another Saiyan like Goku, and and afterwards there's Vegeta and Nappa, right? So other two Saiyans just to reinforce that. And here, no, you're just walking among them, and it's perfectly normal. And this is uh, this is also one this is one of the beauties of the fact that this is getting brought to a DLC in a video game. So we talked about the the PS5 update coming uh, in January. When is uh, Bardock Alone Against Fate DLC dropping? At the same time. Same time. Yeah. Cool, coming to PS4 and PS5. Correct. Uh, with the free upgrade from PS4 to PS5, if you already own the game. Right for the main uh, the main Kakara game. That's correct. Yes. And now here you you get indeed a, a glance of the kind of rewards that this kind of subquest they give you. Yeah. Which is experience and little gifts that you can spend in a dedicated board that will give us bonus um, once that uh, once a certain combinations is achieved. 
Great. Well, thanks for sharing uh, this sub quest. This is, I mean, this is just one of many. You mentioned the blue elect, uh, exclamation points all over the map, like any number of stories or tasks or errands and all kinds of stuff you can do to immerse yourself in the world. But um, yeah, Bardock Alone Against Fate arrives alongside the uh, PS5 upgrade SKU um, January 13th. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, thanks again for the footage. Excited to jump back into to DBZ Kakarot. Loved the game uh, when it first came out and uh, excited to play more. So thanks for joining us. I have a, it was a pleasure. Thanks, everybody. PlayStation.